Well, just after Governor Asa Hutchison lifted the statewide mask mandate Tuesday, Little Rock announced it will continue using a city mask mandate. As th 311s Jordan Howington found out today, many are wondering why. As the city of Little Rock breaks down exactly why they made this move, I spoke with a restaurant owner who says he cannot afford to turn away a customer at his door without a mask. We're in the middle of a public health pandemic still. Little Rock City Director Kathy Webb showing her support for Mayor Frank Scott Jr's decision to keep the city's mask mandate at a Tuesday night board meeting. A majority of the directors who were there indicated support. Webb says the mayor's decision comes after the city has followed the CDC closely. Dr. Walensky, the head of CDC, has asked states not to lift the mass mandates Wednesday at a press conference. The mayor said he will revisit this every 30 days, but one Little Rock restaurant owner said he simply cannot afford to enforce his customers to wear a mask. If my customer walk in with a mask, it's fine. If they walk in with no mask, it's fine. I, I cannot refuse a business because they don't want to wear a mask. But the staff at Layla's remain cautious and they'll continue following the city's mandate. As for the customers, the owner leaves it up to them. It's not driven by me. So whatever my customer be comfortable with, I'm going to follow through. Despite the city's mandate, many Little Rock businesses already decided to keep their mask policy. And Webb hopes others get on board. I hope other cities around the state will follow suit. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. Jordan, thanks. Meanwhile, in Jefferson County, the Pine Bluff mayor there, Shirley Washington, said there will still be a mask requirement in city buildings and they will still encourage businesses to do the same thing.